when he's gone out of town for five, four or five days, it helps when I do that. Right out all the meals. Welcome back, crew, to another vlog. It is June 16th? No, June 15th. Tomorrow is June 16th. My husband's birthday, which he is not going to be home for. <laughs> oh, hush me. We are going to get on to some breakfast. Because I have got avocados. This one's ready. So I'm going to make myself some egg fried rice with avocado. And it will be an absolutely tasty, wonderful breakfast. And there we go. Egg fried rice with some avocado. Now, if you'll excuse me, dearies, my stomach in the last, like, several seconds just went, we want it. So, I would rather not uh, keep my hunger waiting any longer. I had an idea for breakfast today. June 16th. And it no longer sounds good. No longer sounds good, which I am pretty certain is fairly common, but... kitchen needs dealt with. I need to figure out what I'm eating for breakfast. We might finally be in AC weather for summer, unfortunately. June 16th and the AC might actually have to finally run. We'll see. The cloud layer from the second official day of monsoon has been persistent enough in keeping the sun blocked, but it's not even 1030 and we're already almost up to 90. What you need? Saturday, June 17th. Y'all remember me telling you, showing you how we've got holes in some of our screens now? Um, so I went out to the workshop to check Sinza's bowl, see if she's been out there. And, uh, I hear something moving, and I think it's Sinza. I'm like, all right, I'll go refill her bowl. And I see something that's probably 70-something pounds go darting out from behind the bench underneath of the work table, run through, smack into one of the old windows in the workshop, breaking it, breaking the glass, and it goes darting around and taking off into the back. And both dogs are just like, oh my god, what the hell was that? It was a bobcat. I shit you not. So I just had an encounter with our bobcat that's in the area. Damn flies. Which might explain why Sins has not been spending as much time in the workshop. Might also explain uh, some of what was what the cats were going after, but I have a feeling that if he had not moved, just not reacted, had let me grab the food, fill Sinza's bowl, and leave, I would have never known he was there or she was there. It is Monday, and I really don't want to do anything. I got 10 hours of sleep. I haven't gotten 10 hours in like a month and a half. Um, actually, probably more longer than that. But uh, normally the girls wake me up about 6.30 because the sun's up, and they didn't wake me up this time. They didn't wake me up this time. Uh, not uh, about 8 15 a.m. Choctaw comes in, jumps in the bed, does her little sniff, 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 sniff that she'll do when she's checking to see if I'm awake. And I was like, All right, I, I, let me put my socks and boots on. Let me put my socks and boots on, okay? Okay, let me put my socks and boots on. 
You, give me a minute. Back off. Let me put these on. Back off and let me put these on. <laughs> okay, sit. So, you know, they're doing that, and I, I roll over, grab the phone, I'm like, oh, what time is it? And it says 8.19, I'm like, shit, is my, is there something wrong with my phone? Well, I need to get up, so I hop up, get coffee stirred to get the animals out. I check the time on a couple other things, and I'm like, no, it really is, it really was that late. Oh, I haven't slept that late in a long time, so it was a bit disconcerting. But, uh, it was also quite nice. Um, I need to actually, so I'm putting on the hiking boots because I gotta do a good 20 minutes outside. But, um, need to go run a couple of vehicles real quick, uh, or a vehicle real quick. Need to refill Sims' food bowl because I know she's getting in there every, every three days. Um, my mom brought up a really good point that the, uh, bobcat might have been looking for a den. Uh, I'm going to do my best to discourage that because that workshop was built in the 1960s. So there's a lot of spilled chemicals and baby animals would not thrive in that, in that barn, in that workshop. Um, they would, they would die. Um, so I'm trying to make sure I discourage that. Need to water the garden. Need to... What else do I need to do? Oh yeah, I need to remember to turn on the pear tree. So, it's really windy outside today. Um, I also need to refill the bird feeder. So, we'll step out real quick. See how bad the wind is. Zoom. It's not horrible, but... Uh... There won't be a lot of good clips, so. There'll be a bunch of little short ones without, mu without much sound, so. Oh, let's get into Monday. Really don't want to, but let's get into it. All right, so let me show you guys this. I was right about here. This is the ladder up to the loft, and the bobcat was back in there. She went from there, tucked around there, ran this way through that window. Now, these windows over here are mostly intact still, but she went through that one, despite the fact that this one right here is wide open, so is that one. But yeah, that, I was standing right there, cat food's right there, shoes right there. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm a lot more careful when I can, I've always been careful coming in here because we do have javelina. And, you know, we've got rattlesnakes, and I'm always making noise trying to make sure everything is aware. There's a human coming in. Give it a chance to hunker down, not move. That way we don't have to have an encounter. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's refill the kitty's bowl. Not the ribbon. Not the ribbon. I literally have to use my bullet journal to protect the ribbons. What the hell? And you immediately go after the elastic. Okay. It is Vita Summer Solstice 
And it is definitely feeling like summer. We've got so much going on in our atmosphere right now, cloud-wise. It is a gorgeous, lovely day. It's trying to build up into monsoon. Maggie, come. Maggie! And we've not had our first, like, official, official monsoon yet, but we're getting close. It'll probably happen today, later today, or tomorrow. Wasn't feeling the tomboy look today. I grabbed my one of my prairie dresses. I grabbed the prairie dress that I have. I need to get a couple more in lighter colors, mind you. But I think that's probably my favorite part about living in such a big valley is seeing what all the clouds are doing. We've got a lot of lenticulars today. That's amazing. <sighs> Later today Today, I think, I'm going to be test firing my shotgun. Oh, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to test fire my 20 gauge. And then, because I'm pretty certain I'm going to enjoy shooting it. And that will be the gun that I carry on me when I'm outside working from, because we got a sling for it, so. Okay, Wednesday, June 28th. First chicken in a few days, because nothing was happening. Um, we're getting our first monsoon. Unfortunately, we don't get to enjoy it as much because it is hot. It hit 104 before the cloud layers picked up. Uh, I had to actually drive into town real quick, which is a little wib wib wibble wobbly because the um, car needs the roto arms, I think they're called. It needs work. It's wobbly. But Dave is on a forced fast today because he's got a colonoscopy tomorrow. So I had to run into town and get some Powerade for him for one of his things. Tomorrow. While he's at the colonoscopy, I get to take the truck to the mechanics. And they will hopefully get it fixed. And... Oh, they will get it fixed. We got the parts. It's only going to take them about an hour. I get down there. And then... Once I get done with that, I go back to the doctor's office and hop inside and see if he's ready to come out yet or not. And then from there, we're going to go get breakfast. <laughs> we're going to go get breakfast. And then we've got a few groceries to grab and... As much as I want to shop in the craft store for the things I want, can't justify it. Can't justify it. So I will probably sometime over the weekend get myself a couple of things. Mostly yarn. But I don't remember if this particular craft shop ships. They bleep in better. I'm not driving an hour just to pick up yarn. And welcome to the last day of June and to the last vlog of the month. It is technically 4th of July weekend. So my husband is finally healed up enough that he could go on a wander, as he calls them. Little short trips. Um, 
He's up in the mountains for a few days. I'm at home. I was going to give you guys a check-in yesterday in Sierra Vista, but that didn't work out. Um, apparently, I forgot, and quite a few other people forgot to warn my husband that after a colonoscopy, you're very bloated for a very long time. He was miserable. And then yesterday, while I'm at the mechanic shop, I realized that I'm having a miscarriage. I've been having miscarriages since I was 18. So it was just one of those, oh, great, here we go again. At this point, as near as I can tell, as near as we've been able to figure out, it's my immune system. My immune system just will not let me carry. There are ways to get your immune system to stop freaking out. I've been working on slowly incorporating them, but... Not exactly the kind of note that I was wanting to leave the vlog off on, but I've said before in past vlogs, I don't like to sterilize the vlog and the homestead content because make it all happy, hippie, yippy dippy, whatever. That's just not reality. And reality is hard. Reality is painful. And at times, and yeah, you know, I'd rather be honest with you guys and have people dislike the video and dislike me being honest about what you experience in life than not talk about it. Mostly because there are a lot of women out there who we can't figure out why we can't get pregnant because testing your for problems that are causing your immune system to flare. That, that requires a sympathetic doctor, and that requires someone to do more than hmm, just bad luck. Because if you have a history of miscarriages, and you still haven't got pregnant yet, there's a very good chance that it's your immune system going, there's something else wrong. There's something really wrong. And it could be something as simple as one of your glands, one of your, your thyroid gland, your pituitary gland, one of those glands is just losing its mind and you just need to get it treated. And then that's, that's what it is. It could be something as serious as you've got a lot of stage one cancer in your body and we don't have the resources to be able to protect the baby. So the problem with all that is testing for all of that costs as much as getting pregnant and having a child. So Gotta save up for it. I have to save up for it. Um, affordable health care is difficult. Let's just put it that way. Um, I could go on a pure carnivore diet. A lot of women have done that, and all of a sudden they've got their rainbow baby. That's an expensive diet, um, and we are not there yet. For me to be able to do that. Although I am very strongly considering just going on raw fruits, raw vegetables, and red meat because when I've had my miscarriages that's what I crave afterwards and that's what I start to crave when it starts to set in with my body that I'm pregnant. I don't know. Uh, th there are a lot of other vari variables unfortunately as well that I'm still working on getting erased and dealt with. But you know, what can you do except for deal with one variable at a time? Get it dealt with, get it gone. As it is, I'm getting ready to go jump into the shower because I have a long day of admin and end of quarter admin and beginning of next quarter admin that I need to do. And I feel gringy because yesterday was exhausting. We literally sat at the end of the counter in the mechanic shop and just neither of us really could do much besides walk over, get a little bit of breakfast, and then walk back over and just sit and be miserable. So he was experiencing pain. I was in pain. We got home. We ate a pizza. We destroyed a pizza between the two of us. Laid down, passed out. 
we were up for a few more hours and both of us were in bed by nine. <laughs> and both of us, I think, were asleep by 10. It was exhausting. So. Ah, and you guys wonder why I'm always telling you hug your loved ones tight. There's more than just that, but hug your loved ones tight. You are blessed to have them, be they ones that you have adopted or that you were gifted by the universe, okay? Take care of yourself because you are someone of infinite value even if you can't see it. And I love you guys. And I'll catch you in the next upload, okay?